in this video, I'm going to be experimenting with mark making. Um, I was recording and then for some reason it did not record my little practice thing here, but let me go through what I'm using real quick. I have this, uh, this is just a stick that I found in my backyard and my son whittled the tip down a little bit um, to bring it to a point. I'm using my carbon, platinum carbon ink that I have decantered into a small container. I have some nibs with my dip pen. I've got my brush pen as well as a micron fine liner. And then I've got some water brushes as well as a regular brush and some water. So, um, I've experimented with uh, different mark making, like this was from doing it on the side, and then here's some fine lines I can get. So I encourage you just play around with it. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, di dividing my paper. This is a, this is arches. 10 by 14 and I'm dividing it up into four. So I'm going to go ahead and finish taping this and then this will be a step by step on my Christmas card making. We're going to be doing some winter trees. Now I've got that taped down. I've got it separated so we'll have four different cards. And I'm just going to go in here and start playing with my ink and my stick. Because we could do this in layers. You know, there's no right or wrong to do this. So what I'm thinking is... Um, I'm thinking I will have like a heel coming that way. Uh, some winter trees maybe coming down. But do it on its side a little bit here. And just go in here and play. I don't need to worry about being size at this point I think my light is going to be coming from the right so I want to keep that in mind I like that there. All right. I really like the stick. I like how it's so versatile. Got this fine line here. And you can Just it. Yeah, I like it. All right, so. Gonna be a little bit of a shadow in here, I know that, so. And then while this is Okay. 
do want some more of that shadow coming in here of there we go now I'm going to take a little bit I'm going to take one of my water brushes and I'm just going to Pop in a little water here. There we go. We're going to let a lot of this water work into the uh, ink. Meaning some of the keeping it a little bit more watered down in the lighter areas. Now what I'm going to do is I still have some ink back in here. I'm going to come back in here and make like, there's some distant trees back here. And we're going to just let that do its thing. Look at that run. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Wow. Okay, I like that a lot. Let's get some more water in there. Let that really flow up in there. And a little bit lighter back in here. Where it just almost disappears. Alright, I like that. I don't really want to touch that ink there yet. I'm just squeezing some more of this out. All right, and those are our distant trees. I will be I want a little bit of a run there. All right. I like that. All right, we're going to leave some of that white in there. I like that. I'm going to leave that for a minute. Let that dry. It's really hard to let it leave it for a minute. But I'm going to leave it because I might bring a little bit of a watercolor into this once it dries and just to give it a snowy wintry feel to it and refine some of these okay so let's just go over here and uh do some more do it however it feels right to you i'm just organically right now just not even I'm trying not to think. It is not easy not to think when you're, but you gotta let your in intuitive nature get started here. What do I mean? feel like there is a snow slope there. Okay, now let's finish off this. I feel like this is a tree coming in. 
don't know what kind of tree is that do you but hey it's my tree and I don't like it's my story right all right All right, now I'm gonna do like I did over here. I'm going to bring in my water brush. And drop in some of this water, and let this do its thing. There's a tree. How beautiful is that? Absolutely gorgeous. All right. I think my son's going to be coming down that way. So I'm just organically coming in here and dropping in. It's going to be more shadow area in here. Our light will be coming that way. There we go. Oh, yeah. I like that. Okay. I'm just going to... There. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's get some organic shape coming in here, too. I like that. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to let that dry. And I'm going to come over here and just repeat the process. Keep going. I really like how that happened just organically. All right. I think I would like to try one coming. Mm. Kinda like this. I'm definitely making a mess here. <laughs> hey, if you're not getting messy, you're just not having fun, right? That's what I used to tell my kids. If you're not messy, you didn't have a fun day. One of the best days when they played in the dirt, sand, and I just feel like this is just very playful. I like it. It's very much me. You could also say this this is a kind of like a Almost a meditative way of doing it, or just a very intuitive, organic, not really abstract, but yet abstract that, I don't know, it's just play. Just, just get in there and play. All right, I think I'm going to... I think I will come in here and do a little bit of that like I did in some of the others. That, I hope that doesn't uh, you know and if one of them don't turn out then you know that's okay. I like to keep it light, dark, light, dark. There we go. And I'm going to come in here. 
we'll see. I don't, I'm definitely not sure about this one, but hey, we might be able to make it work, right? Okay, so I'm going to come in here and, uh, Do this one. I think I'm going to have my horizon line a little bit more. I always like to come down into the picture. Try to lead the viewer's eye down into line using lines to direct the uh, viewers eye so here we have we want to come in another path there uh, where do I want my winter tree Trees just sometimes, while well, I love doing them, they just feel, they just can feel very odd. But that's how they are. They're just odd. There's no rhythm or pattern to them. So... We just know that most of them are a little bit fatter at the bottom. So, you know. Definitely nothing perfect about the shape of a tree. That feels pretty good. I'll always come in here and darken it a little. Of course, it will be darker here because there's a shadow in here from it. So these, this is a very quick process. It doesn't need to take long. And yeah. Okay, I think with that, I'm going to come in with my brush pen or my uh, water brush. I'm feeling like I need some trees back in here, you know. So let's try that same technique we used and let that run on up in there and make us some beautiful trees.
All right, and we're watering some of this down. Try, we're not going to uh, cover up all the uh, white. We want to, to leave some white areas back in here. All right. But just a little. I feel like in some areas I do. Okay, I like that actually. I need to soften this out. Some of those trees are going to be way far off in the distance. Okay. Now we're going to let this dry and I'll be back and we can add some, some uh, more details to it. Okay. Okay. As you can see, I've gotten some really nice and interesting organic shapes that the ink just created. And um, so now I'm thinking I'm going to come in here with a little bit of... I'm going to go in with the M. Graham's Payne's Gray. And I'm going to come in... Yeah, I think... All right, so I'm going to mix two colors together for this. I'm going to go in with my Payne's Gray with my Prussian Blue. I just feel like the Prussian Blue gives it more of that midnighty, midnight on a winter's blustery day kind of, or night. Yeah, so, okay. I think I got too much of that. Let's go back in here. Alright, so, there we go. Get a, get a good even mix of that. I'm going to water it down pretty good because it's a very strong color. So... I think what I'm going to do is come in here and just start doing a little light wash. And I don't, so the ink here has dried already. So I don't really need to worry too much about it bleeding. I just want to come in some areas and add just a tiny bit of color in there. Yeah. All right. I think I'm pretty happy with that. that like that okay yeah and I'm gonna come over here and just do the same thing it's a great thing about doing a couple of them at the same time is because then you can just you know move through it quickly so the inking part I mean it takes the longest and then well, letting it dry takes the longest, actually. It'd be a very quick and uh, fun project. If you're doing it with kids, you might want to do it with a more <laughs> kid-friendly ink because the ink I use is is it's permanent. Um, 
So yeah, a very fun project. And then I can come in here in these darker areas here. Just add some of that in there. There we go. I like that. It just has so much different, like, uh, value to it there. I like that a lot. Okay. I think I'm going to come in here with some of this darker, too. Where are these? There we go. Oh, yeah. That is gorgeous. Okay. Mm, I love this. Fun, fun project. Okay, this one. This one I thought it might be good to go in with a... A, uh white or a glittery wording here and say something like happy holidays just use your imagination looks like I'm running out of some of my paint there okay I actually like that I'm gonna grab a little bit more Okay. Just come in here. The reason it, it's this paper, this watercolor paper is a little bit, has a little bit of a rough. It's the cold press, so it's not too rough. But um, if you have a big enough hot pressed paper, I would use that. Um, but I didn't, so, um, but this paper is fine. Just be aware of that when you're working with it. It does have a little bit of a tooth to it, so. I want to try and lift off a little bit of that. There. There we go. That's not going to be quite so white back in there. Then more of that gray into here. Yeah, I like those. Very organic, very wintry. Okay, so I thought I'd go ahead and walk you through walk you through the the part where i adhere it onto the front so first we're i've taken off the tape and this is completely dry i've added my font that i wanted to or my handwriting because <laughs> um on this one i chose not to i just added some of this uh this is what i used to add my little sparkles and I also used this white Signo Uniball uh, it's I think I believe it's an acrylic ink so I used that and I used my uh, glittery one and I finished those off my neck step is to cut this is Canson XL watercolor it's like a cardstock so um, what I want to do is fold it in half have it to where I'll put this right on the front of it so I'm gonna go ahead And fold it in half. Okay. And 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm using a paper cutter to cut this down. To size. Cut this right down. Down the middle there. Okay. trim a little bit off this side here so kind of get it even okay I feel like that's good there okay and so I'm going to cut it down to the size that I need So I'm just going to put a little pencil mark. So here. And here. All right. And then what I'll do is use like a double-sided tape or the adhesive of your choice. Adhere that to the front and then you can write your Christmas greetings inside. Well, I hope you enjoyed that small tutorial. Be sure to subscribe as I have more holiday tutorials coming up and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.